Hello and welcome to the tutorial series on new features of Java 8. My name is Arjun. Today we are going to learn about lambda expressions. There are a couple of limitations of a traditional Java methods. There is no way of defining just a method which stays in Java all by itself. Actually in Java if you want to use some method, uh, we have to create a class and then uh, create a method inside uh, the class. Then we create an object of that class and using the object of that class uh, we can call the method. Means in Java there was no way for a method to exist all by itself. It has to be wrapped inside a class. Also there is no way of passing a method as an argument or returning a method body for that instance. To pass a method uh, we could we use anonymous methods but then uh, when we use anonymous methods it is not easy to read the anonymous methods or uh, write them actually by anonymous method I mean by classes with no name a brand new language feature called lambda expression is introduced to overcome this limitation so lambda expression gives the feature of functional programming to java means here using the lambda expression we can write the methods which exist all by themselves in java so what is lambda expression lambda is basically an anonymous function means a function without any name it is actually a method without declaration that is without access specifier without a return value and without a name means we don't even need to declare the method suppose we uh, want to uh, use a method inside our program and we are sure that uh, this particular method is being used only once so instead of writing a separate class for that method, we can uh, just write a lambda expression. So lambda expression is essentially a method which we write and use at the same place. So here is an example of lambda expression. Suppose we want to write a method uh, which will print hello world. So we can simply write a pair of parentheses uh, followed by the arrow operator and then uh, print hello world so you know something here we have not mentioned the return type of the method the access specifier of the method not even the name of the method so this is lambda expression in action so the best way to learn about lambda expression is uh, learning it so the best way to learn about lambda expression is learning it using real-time examples so let's go hands on just to save some time i have created a java application here here i have written a class application and then we have a main method inside here um, suppose we have a list of integers So suppose we have a list of integers mm, so let's create a list mm, array list so mm, let me import java.util.list Let's add a couple of elements in it. List dot add one element five, and then list dot add
so to print the list of elements what we use, use usually used to do was uh, write a for loop for that so for each integer of the list what we need to do was print the item let's run the application and it's printing the elements I will uh, rewrite uh, this functionality using lambda expressions so using lambda expressions what we can do is we can uh, simply do uh, list dot for each and for each element what we need to do is we need to print the elements so what we can do that for each element and in the list we have to print the element n so it is printing the required elements the other way around that we can use is list dot for each system dot out and here the java it gives us double column operator so double column and then print error so it will print each of the elements here so let's run the program all right so it has uh, printed the list so essentially this code can be written in two possible ways one way is this for each element and we are uh, printing the element and then uh, we can print the elements using the double column operators as well lambda expression can be used using java strings as well as uh, using the functional interfaces and in anonymous inner classes as well so we will discuss these features in the next tutorial uh, thanks for watching